Thanks, Amber. Thanks everybody for taking your time today. Uh, can everybody see my screen? Okay, so right here I'm showing uh, my phone. I've got my phone up here and I've got my Business Central mobile app um, installed on my phone. So, you know, just again reiterating with D365 Business Central, you can access this on any device. And right here today, you know, we're gonna talk about jobs. So I'm logged in as a project manager and you can see some of the items here. And then you can see how I can go ahead and um, you know, create timesheets as well, right from my, from my phone. So just wanted to show that to you again quickly. Uh, I've been an account manager for about five years at Crestwood Associates. Um, we support five ERP solutions. Business Central is one of them, and that's the one we're gonna focus on today. Uh, and so with that, let's get started. Um, so when we talk about job costing or jobs, we are talking about projects for the most part. Um, we're talking about items that have, you know, start and end dates, and they might have different co uh, costs, um, you know, that go into this job, such as resources who have billable time, sometimes there's materials, uh, research and development, things like that. So. We want to use Business Central to get visibility into these job costs and uh, track them and, you know, also getting an idea of your, um, your work in process, um, to, you know, get some of this financial data over to your GL to, you know, help you with projects in the future, help you with jobs in the future to, you know, reduce your risk, help you make better business decisions and all that. Um, so is your organization one that might use job costs? You probably could, you know, anything from just a marketing campaign that you might run uh, and want to track costs on that to possibly, um, you know, a research and development. You know, if you're trying to build a product and you want to track how much time and effort you're putting into that, knowing at the end of the day, you might not be able to sell it for that much. Um, it might be relevant for you to track it as a job. Um, and then again, you know, a professional services firm where you are, you know, budgeting and then actually billing for those costs for your your employees, for your resources that are working on that project. Those would all be a fit for job cost. Uh, so some of the entities that we're going to look at in Business Central include things like a job card that has your standard master data, if you want to call it that. Uh, it also has a planning section where you have your activities and your tasks. Um, including resources that are assigned to that job. Um, you have a lot of reports that are available out of the box to see your actuals versus your budgeted to give you an idea of that profitability for that job. And then you've also got your job journal. So if you are, um, you know, recognizing different costs along the way of your project, and then you're going to transfer those to your job journal in order to invoice um, your customers. Um, that would all first go to your job journal. So here we're gonna take a look at how to create a new job. Um, we'll create the job, enter a timesheet. Um, this is gonna be a job that we have a resource assigned to. We'll go through the approval process, create the job journal, and then get that invoice over to the customer. So here we can see we're looking at uh, the login screen for Business Central uh, when you're logged into your computer um, on an internet browser. I'm logged in as a project manager and I could see some of my activities and tasks that are relevant to me. Uh, if I scroll down, I see some of the out of the box reports. Um, so here we'll go ahead and we will click on the start button to create a new job. And it's gonna ask us, do we wanna copy from an existing job? So if you are doing certain projects over and over again, you know, this is a time saving feature that you can definitely leverage. So we're gonna type in the job number that we were already working with, and we'll give it a customer who we're gonna bill this to, as well as the description. And we can see that it's gonna be a new office remodel job that we're gonna be working on. And here's where you're going to um, select the tasks. So we're gonna look at all the tasks that come from that job that we're copying, and you can pick um, you know, where you want to start. So we're going to start at phase one and actually bring over um, all these tasks. And then we'll go ahead and click OK. Um, down below, you can see in the supply section, 
You can copy things like quantities if you're purchasing items. Um, you can also copy over dimensions. Again, that's a key feature for your financial reporting in Business Central is the dimension. So that's it. We've gone ahead and created our new job. And it's going to pop open the screen for this new job we just created. So here you can see, again, we're on uh, what's called a job card. Um, similar to a lot of the items in Business Central, you've got your fact box on the right. It gives you all this information at a glance about your job, um, things like your budgeted costs, your actual costs, um, things like that. And then in this main panel where you've got your tasks, these are more or less your planning lines. So this is where you're going to add in all those things pertaining to your job that you want to capture costs, um, whether or not they're budgeted or billable. Um, a budgeted cost is one that's not going to be billed to your customer. You just want to track it for budgeting purposes. Billable, obviously, you want to bill that out to your customer. Um, and the other option is to have them as both budgeted and billable. So now we're going to see how we enter a timesheet for the job. So here I'm logged in as an employee who's got to go to the self-service area. Uh, again, they can do this from here. They can do this from their mobile device when they're logged into Business Central. They can open their timesheet. And then they can go ahead and click on this task number. Um, right now, you can see on the right-hand side in the fact box, you know, they haven't put any time in yet for this week. Um, so the, the box is going to appear where they can select from the list of jobs that they're assigned to. Um, and they can go ahead and choose that task. And then they can go ahead and enter their time. And then they'll go ahead and submit that timesheet for approval. They could see, you know, the fact box has been updated. Now we have 20 hours here. We'll go ahead and hit OK. And now you can see below um, in the pending timesheets, you have one timesheet that's now submitted for approval. So now we're logged in as the approver, the manager. They're going to see in their queue, they have a timesheet they have to approve. Go ahead and open that. They'll see it's Linda's timesheet. They want to see the detail. And then you can see, you know, in the fact box down at the bottom, you can see the job number that these hours are associated with. Go ahead and select approve. Now it's approved. Close that out. And now we see that um, our timesheet has been approved. So let's go ahead and do the next step. And we want to get this into a job journal. So this is a step before you can actually create the invoice for your customer to build this time to. So again, as the project manager, you're going to um, open your job journal. Uh, or maybe you're on the finance team doing the billing. Um, you're going to go ahead and choose this option to select the lines from timesheets. And this is a quick way to pull in all those approved lines so that you can then post them to the job journal. And here you can see all Linda's time that we just approved. So now they're posted. So the next step is to get that invoice to the customer. So again, in the top menu, we're going to go ahead and select jobs. And here you can see our data is displayed in a list format. So we've got two jobs listed here. Um, we're going to take action on this job that we have highlighted by choosing the process drop down. We can also see this work in process over on the right hand side. Um, just to mention, you know, there are various ways that you can track your WIP. Um, you can use cost value, you can use sales value, um, percent complete, um, or if it's a completed contract. So there's different methods that you can use um, to calculate your WIP. Um, so we're going to go ahead and select process here. We're going to create this job sales invoice. Um, we are going to select it just for this job. And now we've created the invoice, so now we're going to open it. And here you can see all the lines that were pulled that are going to be on this um, that are on this sales invoice, and that will be sent to your customer on their bill. So here you can see, you can email right out of Business Central uh, using your O365, it's all tied in together. So once you hit this post and send, 
you'll see the invoice gets created. This is a standard Word document. Um, that's the standard for all of the forms and reports um, created in Business Central. And then right from there, it emails that out to your customer that's listed in the customer card. Um, so hopefully that gives you an idea of how easy it is to you know, use this one solution, have everybody track their time, uh, manage it from a project standpoint, and get it in financials um, all within one system. Now we're going to just jump over and take a look at how to manage an existing job. So again, some of the reports that are out of the box, um, if you hover over you know, your job actual price to budget price report, you can see you know, here's the details for this job, and we, we see we have about $15,000 um, that we've billed to date. So by clicking on that, it'll bring up that actual job card. You could see the details more in that fact box on the right. Um, and then you can also open these job planning lines. So we're going to see the full screen of all these. Again, this is where you have all your tasks to find. You can update this at any time throughout the life of your job, um, you know, as obviously projects can change along the way. Um, you can also have, you know, these are a lot of different resources here. You know, sometimes you have different bill rates based on your resource. So here you can see the unit cost column um, that can allow you to have uh, different bill rates for these different resources. Um, the quantity is, you know, the number of hours that you're expecting them to be spending on this project. And then you can see in this uh, third column here, the line type, it's for both budget and billing. So we are going to budget for this as well as bill these hours out that these consultants spend. Um, and down on the third line from the bottom, you can see that we actually have an item there. So we have from our inventory this um, this chair that we are going to sell to the customer as part of this engagement. So from here, we can go ahead and create the sales invoice. And then once we go ahead and select that invoice that's been posted, we can see it here again. Uh, this is kind of just what we went through. Um, gives you a chance to approve it. And then you go ahead and you send that over to your customer. So that's kind of the life cycle of how you could use this uh, module in Business Central at a high level. Um, does anybody have any questions? We have one quick question here, Melissa, that says, can a project manager enter time for multiple employees? Yeah, I believe if you have um, the setup to allow you as a delegate, um, so if your security is set up, then you should be able to do that. Okay, and it looks like that's it for now, Melissa. Is that all from you? Yep. All right, short and sweet today. Um, if you do have a question, you think of anything that you, you wanted to ask, uh, please feel free to reach out to your cam, reach out to us. Um, and if not, we hope to see you next week for the next in the series. We will uh, upload the recording of this uh, within the next 24 hours. So if you want to just revisit anything we talked about today, you can do that. And other than that, thank you all for joining us today. Thank you, Melissa. And we look forward to seeing you next week and in future sessions. Thanks. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thanks for watching. To learn more about our products, visit www.crestwood.com. Hope to see you there soon.